Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 30-2, Chapter 3, Section 4, Mutually Exclusive Events. Now, remember, mutually exclusive means one or the other, not both. For example, with a deck of cards, you can get a club or a spade. You cannot get a club that's off the stage. When you roll a die, you get an even number and odd number. You cannot get a number that's false. Okay. So, outcomes today. One, classifying events as mutually exclusive or not mutually exclusive. I'm explaining why. Determine if two events are complementary, that is the opposite of each other, and explain the reasoning. And three, represent using set notation of graphic organizers, mutually exclusive, including complementary and non mutually exclusive events. And remember, complement means the opposite of That's prime. Yes, we're going back to chapter one. Mm -hmm. Set notation, graphic organizers, Venn diagrams, trees, that sort of thing. Now, we're also to solve a contextual problem that involves the probability of mutually exclusive or non mutually exclusive events. We're going to solve a contextual problem that involves the probability of complementary events. And we're going to create and solve a problem that involves mutually exclusive or non mutually exclusive events. So, what's more of the mutually exclusive and non mutually exclusive stuff? So, a school newspaper published results of a recent survey. Eating habits. Students said their results. 62% skip breakfast, 24% skip lunch, 22% eat both breakfast and lunch. Now the question is, are skipping breakfast and skipping lunch mutually exclusive events? Now they're stupid for skipping lunch and they're stupid for skipping breakfast, but here I want you to think, actually, Going back to chapter one, you have people that eat breakfast only. Just those that eat lunch only. Plus those that eat both. Skip breakfast, skip lunch, and 22% eat both. Okay. So, um, in 22% eat both. go on to the next question and show you how to solve it. Determine the probability that a randomly selected student in our class skips breakfast but not lunch. Now, so go on to the next one because let me take your Venn diagram for this. Breakfast. Now, eat lunch. Both neither. So how do we do this? Well, let's look carefully at our data. Okay. So 62% skip breakfast. Well, if 62% skip breakfast, that means eat breakfast. lunch. 
that is um, six percent heat much. Now, what are we going to do with the Twenty two percent is both. So both is twenty two percent. Okay. Now, can we figure out the rest? Yes. How many skip breakfast? Okay. So now, probability that they skip breakfast, what is that? Well, in back here, 62% skip breakfast. So, that's probability 62%. Now, divided by the outcome of what we want, which is eat lunch, but not lunch. So that means they let's get going to eat lunch. That's let's see, fifty-four, seventy-six percent. So what's the probability they skip breakfast? It's two percent divided by the probability they don't skip lunch, seventy-six percent, which is zero point eight six or eighty-six percent chance they skip breakfast but not lunch. Okay. Now, determine the determine probability that a randomly selected student in our class skips at least one of the breakfast or lunch. I mean, so. Oh, if you skip meals or well, if you don't have it, the breakfast. Earlier, 62% skip breakfast. Skip lunch. Well, how many people skip lunch? Well, if 70, sorry, 24% skip lunch. Okay. Now, how many skip both? don't have something to eat, and I know their flight, which is why they always have extra food for people. But if you skip a meal because you're lazy or in a hurry to food, eat. Okay. Now, actually, I'm going to stop the, tape, the recording here. Two more questions. It'll take us a few minutes to do them. So let's stop that and stop here and do those calculations, okay? Venn diagram, breakfast only, lunch only, the formula. It will come in here. Once you've done that, we'll go on and watch the, do the last few questions. Good luck. 